Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to capture data from our documents using the new trigger action called set field with regular expression result. Let's take a look at our documents here. As you can see, we have some information up here, and let's say we want to capture that information not using a IntelliTag or a field, but using our new trigger action. Let's go back into ChronoScan. Let's create a new job. And I'm going to call it regular expression trigger capture job. I don't need anything like that. So I'll just remove the IntelliTag barcode, make sure it's not enabled, I don't need that. And then we also don't need that last one here. Let's click next. We have single image documents. We're going to use generic fields and we are just going to use one field that is going to be called order number. We leave it as alphanumeric and then next, next again, finish. And there we go. Now I will call it regular expression trigger capture batch one. Now let's import the document. You'll see it's a document with three pages at the resolution to 300. Make sure it is optimal. Auto 200 should do the job again. And now I will open the first document here and let's set up a trigger. Let's wait for ChronoScan to do its job. As you can see, we have the text captured here and it is correct. Actually for this one, I had to use the ChronoScan OCR. New ones would make a mess with O's and zeros. That sometimes happens. As you can see now, this O here is a zero, but if I change to OCR, that will make everything good as on the beginning. There we go. Now what I will do, I will set up a trigger. And since that's a big, chunk of text here, I will just go to the triggers, I will select that text, I will not use the search text here, click OK, because I want to use a regular expression. Now here on the, I left the properties on the left side, let me push it here, or let me reset it, and then push the properties here, let me put it out here, there we go. Now the first thing I'm going to call it order number trigger i want to show it on all pages although that might not be optimal because you'll be scanning all the pages of your documents if you only have the information you want on the first page or the last one just select it here since i only have one page i will just leave it as all and i want to run on all types because that is very useful when you have several different documents and you just want a certain type of standard standard format number or data from your document. So execute on all types, that makes perfect sense. And now I would use the own regular expression exist. That is a letter P, letter O, and then I have eight digits. That's how you use regular expressions. So every time the trigger finds that type of text, P, O, and then eight digits, exactly as we have here. I want it to trigger. There we go, you can see it is triggering, but maybe since this is useful also for several different documents containing the same type of standard format data here, I will make the search area, I will change it to full page to make sure we are going to capture it no matter where it is. Now down here, you can see we have a new action on the trigger actions, set field with regular expression result. That will capture the value captured by the trigger and then set it to this field here. So just click here and select the correct field from the dropdown menu or the number. And that's it. I will close the properties panel, go back here, select everything and process everything, making sure I have OCR trigger selected, and then click OK. 
we wait for a little bit and then we will see the triggers captured all here you can see here it's working perfectly so that's it guys i hope you liked it and i'll see you on the next tutorial bye bye